y'all. It's Yvette and welcome to day eight of Vlogmas, which means that today is Thursday, December 8th and I am ready to open some presents. Okay, so <laughs> actually I, it, it has not been that long since I ate lunch, even though it was quite a late lunch, but um, I'm, I'm ready for a little bit of a, of a sweet thing. So here's my lint chocolate box and I'm looking for day eight. So that is right up here in the top. And I'm gonna open that up. And now that we all know that this is all milk chocolate, um, I shall treat myself to one of Francis's um, white chocolates after this. <laughs> or like maybe I'll, I'll kind of, um, it's a little ball. I'm sorry guys, it's a little chocolate ball. <laughs> forgot to hold it up. I'm I'm so like just I I do like milk chocolate. I don't want it to sound like I'm like so super ungrateful for the for the milk chocolate. That's not true at all. I love it. I just kind of thought I was never mind. My goodness. I, I do I talk about this in every single video? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay. All right, so I got a little bit of chocolate. I'm going to pull one of these guys and I'm going to like have it on the side, like waiting in the wings. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. The first thing I have is the cotton cuts and this is the quilting notions box. And I'm just going to pull this <laughs> right off the top. Now it says... It says, pulled out a plum. Y'all, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I, I don't get it. It's, well, it's a thimble, okay? And it's a magic thimble. Protect and grip. Flexible ridges expand for comfort and fit. Um... And I think these are like, you know, one size fits all because it, it kind of like expands and contracts. Um, but I don't understand what that, what pulled out of a plum, pulled out a plum. Not sure, but this is a thimble and it's super cute. Okay. <laughs> now this is the yarn notion slash knitting notion. Okay. Top. Here, I'm just pulling that out. Okay, this says, stitch it up, buttercup. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh. It's two things. Um, the first is a clover darning needle set and it comes with a little case so there it is and then it has those you know the really big needles that are like they're dull and they have big eyes so that you can put yarn through them that's what i do um so there's three needles in a case and then we have some tapestry needles and it says they are yarn needles number 13 um whether you say Hiroshima or Hiroshima needles by Tulip. And there they are. Um, let me, uh, let's take a look at them. I don't think I've ever, I've never seen darning needles or, or yarn needles from Tulip before. Oh, I see. I do love how they come uh, in the little tubes with the cork to hold them in. Um, oh, these are nice. Okay. I don't know what that is. Um, so there are two inside and they are really large, which I really like that. I had no idea they had these. Oh, I love this. Okay. As a crocheter and a... Um, 
amigurumi. I think I'm starting to learn to say it right. Um, person. I mean, I'm, I'm still learning amigurumi, but I love doing it. I, I can really appreciate those needles because um, that's how we like hide the the th the yarn and all of that within the th I'm trying to like you know I'm trying to put everything back together pretty pretty you know me how did it go it went like this get in there <laughs> okay it looks like it's never even been opened <laughs> there they are okay so the next thing uh this is the quilting cotton fat quarter and I want Number eight, there it is. Oop, got caught. Okay. There is number eight. Make sure I get my card out. It says, throw kindness around like confetti. Now, I think I got this one yesterday. No, yes. I think they probably just got kind of mixed around. It doesn't matter. I love it. Um, okay, so what is this? Let me see if there's a salvage so I can tell you. Okay, this is Robert Kaufman, Sunnyside Farm. It's a Flower House 30s collection. Okay, and not a big fan of the flowers and not a really big fan of the red, to be honest, but it is a very nice piece of fabric. All right, and the next one, this is the uh, Batik Fat Quarter, number eight. Okay, and again, number eight. Now watch, if this one is like, be the reason someone smiles, I'm going to crack up laughing, because then I was right. right. Be the reason someone smiles today. Yay, I love that one. I love that one. Okay. Um, oh, this is so pretty. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Look at this, Batik. Is that not gorgeous? It's got pink and, like, um, a yellowish orange in it and on a white background. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I really like that. And something just fell down behind me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I got a lot of boxes yesterday and I brought them down here and now they just tap, toppled over. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> here is the Erin Condren. There, there you go. Um, and I'm looking for number eight. There it is. It's one of the tall ones that was in there. Okay. Number eight. Okay, it, it just, it says Erin Condren on it, right there. And it's sort of like a greenish, tealish kind of color. And, hmm, it's an interesting looking marker. Hold on. Oh. Very nice. It's got like this metallic look and it is like teal. It's really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh my goodness. This might, I mean, I keep seeing, I love them all, but I think this might be my favorite one so far. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Um, Historical Sampler Company. This is their Reindeer Advent Calendar Gift Box. Looking for number eight. Oh, right on top. Okay, number eight. There it is. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, so it's a little ornament. And it's like a little baby. Could be baby Jesus if you want. Could be baby Vic. 
could be maybe somebody else who's born on Christmas. <laughs> could just be a baby. <laughs> and um, it's, I mean, it's ready for the tree. It is ready for the tree. Look how adorable it is. It's got like a little crochet slash knitted outfit on. It's a little knitted cap. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. Okay. <laughs> and now we have Crimson Tape. All right. Don't go in there, Sammy. I gotta try to close it down because they're gonna try to get the squigglies out. Number eight. <laughs> Okay, this is speckled and it is blue with like some gold metallic and different little colors of splotches, but it's like uh, dark red and some uh, medium brown on there. And then this, I mean, that's Tula. It's her true colors. It's a sort of like a navy blue. No, that's not really navy. I would say that's, I don't, it's blue. <laughs> Royal blue, I don't know. Royal blue with lime green. <laughs> Love it. I'm loving that we're getting, we're getting the true colors. I'm really excited about that. Okay, so. I am going to open the cotton cuts that I just received uh, within the last week. I mean, it hasn't been that long. Ooh, well, oh, good. <laughs> it's a lot of chocolate. Okay, they have included a little card to talk about Village Green, which is their next um, puzzle mystery quilt that will start um, next February, or well, this coming February. And I already got mine and I did this one. I don't remember what the name of it is. I'm terrible at remembering the names, but the uh, fabric line is spookier and spookier uh, art gallery fabrics. So I'm super excited because it's it's so cute, you guys. Um, so that's the one I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Just saying. Um, okay, let's get it open. It says, you are capable of amazing things. And Katie, uh, curated my box. So thank you, Katie. And I'll tell you guys about all the fabrics in just a sec. This is uh, Tammy Silvers. Here she is. She is the designer spotlight for this month. And um, okay, so I'm going to start popping up like the um, uh, her the quilts that we have the option of getting a free pattern for as I'm telling you about Tammy um, Okay, it says I've been quilting since 1991 Who are we kidding? <laughs> I'm no different than most quilters. I enjoy working with almost any fabric, but I must confess my favorites the one that will make me drool and blow a carefully constructed budget Wait a minute. I This one was in the, uh, the last box I did. Okay, so you've already seen her quilts. And if you think, okay, yes. So if you go back to where I had the, um, the Modern Maker box, which gives you three one yard cuts, um, we talked about Tammy in there. Okay, so I'm not gonna make y'all listen to that again. Because I'm sitting here and I just know that y'all all watch every single one of my videos. So you already know about Tammy. 
<laughs> this is the block of the month. Again, you saw that last time, but I just will refresh your memory there. Um, our lanyap in this box is, um, it says, as we say goodbye to our so sweet spring 2022 puzzle mystery quilt, say hello to something so sweet of your own. Oh, <laughs> Dove chocolate. Oh my goodness. Y'all are spoiling me rotten. Of course, it's milk chocolate, um, but that's okay. It's Dove. Of course, I mean, lint chocolate's really great too, but oh my goodness, y'all. I am, I am like... I'm stocked up over here with chocolate. <laughs> All right, so here are the fabrics for this month. And I will give you some details about them. Hold on one sec. Okay, so my batiks are Mint Julep by Jacqueline de Jong for Anthology Batiks. Uh, the florals in my box are Birds in Paradise by Catalina Estrada for Free Spirit Fabrics. The holiday seasonal is Flurry Friends by Barb Tartoilet for Henry Glass Fabrics. And I sure hope I said her name right. And then finally, my Juvenile and Children's is Poppy Pop by Scoin for Free Spirit Fabrics. It's spelled S-C-O-I-N. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Okay, so here they are. I have actually not seen any of these fabrics. I, I Isn't this happening most months? You know what happened is I think that I just got, well, if you know about my past year, you'll understand. Okay, <laughs> so let me real quick pop these where I think they're going to go. Um, let's see, put that there. Let me do, oh, that, that definitely goes there. And then, okay, I think that those go together. And then I've got, hmm, okay, let me put this here. Hmm. That might go there. Those look like they would go together. This looks like that. This, that, I don't know, it just kind of goes there to me. And that, okay, this does not go there. So where does this go? This one's tough. This one's tough, I don't know. I, I am stumped by this one. I'm not, I'm really not even kidding completely stumped by this one all right y'all i'm gonna put this one to the end and i'm gonna see if i get some sort of epiphany <laughs> okay so the first are the batiks uh mint julep by jacqueline de jong for anthony batiks anthology batiks i apologize um and i think that these two are in that collection. So here's the first one. Looks very batik like, so I went with it. And then that's smudgy, by the way. Um, and then this one um, is the second one that I think is also a batik. Um, I'm thinking I might put that one there. It just doesn't go to me though. I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm so I'm so stumped. I hope y'all gonna have to tell me if y'all feel the same way. I don't know. So I'm I got these two as the batiks. Okay, and then the next is florals, and the florals are Birds in Paradise by Catalina Estrada for Free Spirit Fabrics, and I have these guys for that. I have four of them um, that look to me like they are, well, I, I think that they go together. Okay, so here's the first one. And you'll see, like, if you look at, like, this guy 
and like the inside of this guy. It goes exactly with like what's, especially like in this next one. So that's why I say that they look like they go together. So if you look at this one, you see how the, that inside of the flower, even though the fabric to me is like completely different. Um, I mean, this one is like a white background and this last one was black, but that's okay. I, I still think that's where it goes. Um, okay. And then again, if you look at this one, look at the inside of that flower. It looks the same. And now this one's got the bird on it. So that's the uh, part of the birds in paradise. And this one does have, um, this one has more like a, a blue background, but then it's got the black and white touches. So it does kind of make it go with the other two. Now this third one, or this fourth one, sorry, um, color is completely different. Like I personally don't think it goes, but the, the birds are there. So you tell me. There's the bird. Um, I don't know. I, I Listen, I, I know that I don't have the same things as I don't like the same things as other people. But let me show you. I don't know. Like to me, I'm just not sure that red really goes. But that could just be me. But those are the ones that I think are birds in paradise. Okay. Next, we have holiday seasonal which is Flurry Friends by Barb Tartoilette for Henry Glass Fabrics. Okay, so I have three in this one, and one of the ones that I put in here is that one that, to me, doesn't go with anything. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the first two, and then I'll show you that third one. I'll explain why I, why I put it in there, but it doesn't look to me like it goes with anything. I'll just be honest, but th that's just me. And of course, since I've seen none of these collections, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> All right, so here's the first one. And um, again, Flurry Friends by Barb Tartoilette. It is super cute with the little snowmen. I love the snowmen. And I'm trying to, that looks like a bunny to me. Does that not look like a bunny? See, now yesterday, whenever I was on the live and I had a bunny in my thing and everybody was like, oh, that was a reindeer. I don't know. I still say it was a bunny, but whatever. <laughs> and I'm really not trying to just be argumentative. I promise. <laughs> okay, and then this is number two, which I also think is super cute because I love these little mittens. So cute. Now those two definitely go together, okay? Like I totally know that those two are with flurry friends. This next one, y'all, I have no idea. Look at this. It's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so happy I got it in my box. But I really don't know where it goes. I don't think it goes in flurry friends. But it was the only place that it could have gone. It definitely wasn't a batik, mint julep. It definitely didn't go with the birds in paradise. And it doesn't look to me like it goes with any of the poppy pop, which you're going to see in a second. It's a totally different aesthetic. At, uh, so this was the only logical place to me it would go. And I have no idea, y'all. I have no idea. Okay. So see, because like here are the three together. What do y'all think? The color, the blue is just, it doesn't go, I don't know. To me, it doesn't go. But I, anyway, I don't know where else to put it. And then finally, for juvenile and children's, we have Poppy Pop by Scoin, if I'm saying that right, <laughs> for Free Spirit Fabrics. And it is, oh, I have it upside down. It is these cute little puppies on a red background. Hello, little puppy. <laughs> So you see, this is a completely different aesthetic. It would not go with those snowflakes, um, which will carry on when you see the subsequent fabrics. <laughs> ah, I keep holding them upside down. This is, uh, you know, like the Partridge family. <laughs> Very cute. And then finally, the owls, which... 
oh, I was going to have that one facing the correct way. And again, Poppy Pop is what we're calling, is the name of this line. It's not what we're calling it. It is the name of the line. <laughs> and then those, you know, if you put those all together, they, to me, they go together. See? Like they, so I, I don't know. We're, we're going to have to figure out what that, um, that other fabric is. And we will. We'll figure it out. Um, so if this is your first time, I should have explained this in the beginning, just in case it's your first time. Um, whatever it is that is coming out of my mouth is a total guess about what the fabric collection is. But there will be a line along the bottom of the screen that will have the name of the fabric collection and the designer. And that is correct. Okay, so um, while I'm doing this video, I'm just making a wild guess <laughs> as to which collection I think the fabric belongs in. Um, so for you guys, if you are interested in Village Green, the enrollment uh, started already on December 2nd. Um, so we're pretty close to a week out, but um, I'm sure most of these are still available I don't know why I'm saying that because I really have no idea, uh, <laughs> but they do sell out. So it's possible that you'll go inside and, you know, you'll see all of the colorways there, but maybe the one that you like the most is sold out. Bummer pie. Um, so <laughs> I want to thank you again for coming and watching this video. And what I am going to do is... Um, for the prize for watching today, I will send you my Cotton Cuts box, which I just opened up, and you will get that in the mail from me. So leave a comment down below. Just make sure it is a positive, happy comment. That's all it really has to be. You could talk about anything you want. You could talk about the fabric. You could talk about the chocolate. <laughs> you could talk about whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and I will randomly select one person to win this lovely box. And um, after this is over, you will see a random comment picker come up and I will choose two names to win a subscription to Block Magazine by Missouri Star Quilt Company. Uh, so stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for coming. Mwah.